China supplied Ukraine with tens of thousands of drones to strike Russia. Iran has sold Russia thousands of drones to bomb Ukrainian cities and another 6,000 drones are to be produced in the Alabuga Special Economic Zone under an Iranian license. Meanwhile, Ukraine buys drones in much larger quantities to shell the enemy's frontline positions from another partner of Russia, China. Ukraine has found ways to get tens of thousands of drones as well as to establish a flow of spare parts for them from China, reports the Wall Street Journal. Purchases of finished products, primarily from SZ DJI Technology, are carried out in stores and from suppliers. In addition, Chinese components are used in drones of their own production, which is growing rapidly. According to Georgi Chakaya, the defense advisor to the Ukrainian Ministry of Digital Transformation, over the past year and a half, the number of drone manufacturers in the country has grown from seven to almost 300. Hundreds of thousands of simple, cheap devices that can carry explosives are produced in an artisanal and industrial way. Every month, the armed forces of Ukraine use about 10,000 drones on the battlefield. DJI told the Wall Street Journal that it tries to limit the use of its products for military purposes but cannot control their use after purchase. The US ban on the use of DJI drones from the military as well as Chinese components in the production of their own drones was one of the reasons why US-made drones are too expensive. Although the US tried to supply Ukraine, many American commercial drones cost tens of thousands of dollars more than Chinese models. In Ukraine, we would like to test and use more American drones, but we are still looking for more cost-effective solutions, Deputy Minister of Digital Transformation of Ukraine, Georgi Dubinsky, told. In addition, every drone software update requires Pentagon approval. However, the situation on the battlefield is changing so quickly that programmers and engineers have to constantly make adjustments to their models. What flies today can't fly tomorrow, Dubinsky says. We need to adapt quickly to emerging technologies. The innovation cycle in this war is very short. At least one person was seriously injured on Wednesday in an explosion followed by a fire at a plant in the port city of Seat in south of France. Some 200 people were evacuated after the explosion. Authorities are conducting tests for eventual toxicity in the surrounding air and soil. The explosion occurred in a warehouse used for producing fuel from grains. The factory was not in operation when the explosion occurred, the prefecture for the surrounding Heralt region said. The fire was brought under control at 1610 GMT, Saipol company that owns the factory said in a statement. Dozens of fire engines have been brought to the scene of the incident. Saipol, part of oilseed group Avril, is France's largest biodiesel producer.